Now, the y dx is equal to y and x. You're asked to evaluate this or solve this differential equation. What do you do? First things first, you observe that this differential equation here has an x term as well as what there? A y term. So, obviously, it's not direct integration. That won't work. So, now switch our focus to what there? Variable separable or variable separation method. All right. So, how do you now solve this one? What do you do here? First things first, let's separate this. Um, the first thing to do, move the x over here. So, I have the y equal to y tan x. The x comes here, becomes dot dx. So, see that I've moved my x term as well as the x to the right-hand side. My next task now is to move this y over here. And to do that, I will divide by y. So, if I divide by y, I have dy is equal to y than x dx. Divide this by y. Divide this by y. This cancels this. So, I have that dy over y is equal to tan x dx. Um, of course, at this point, let's integrate. So, integrating, integrating. What do you have there? The integral of dy over y is equal to the integral of tan x dx. This becomes the integral of separate 1 over y becomes 1 over y dy is equal to integral of tan x d of x. How do you integrate this part? What do you do? If I integrate tan y, if I integrate 1 over y, how about there? Lean y is equal to how do you integrate tan x? What's the integral of tan x? If I differentiate tan x, I'll have sec squared x. If I integrate tan x, what do I get? What's the integral of tan x? So you, you, know, you now see why I'm bringing these examples here. That's it. Differentiate sine x, I have cos x. Differentiate cos x, I have minus sine x. Integrate sine x, I have minus cos x. Integrate cos x, you have sine x. Differentiate tan x, you have sec squared x. Differentiate sec squared x, you have what there? Tan x. Differentiate sec x, you have sec x, tan x. Integrate tan sec x, tan x, you have sec x. If I integrate tan x, what do I get? That's how that's that's how you, that's how you integrate it. Now, so this becomes integral of tan x becomes sine x over cos x. Else, you go think tire. That's the approach you give to it. All right, tan x is equal to sine x over cos x. You bring in that trig identity, then you run with it. So from here, lean y is equal to to integrate this, all right, you use substitution, right? So I'll say let you, let you, now, majorly, this integral itself should not be done inside your sheet, your, your answer sheet. You can do it at the rough section and bring your answer. What am I saying? You can go and integrate this in somewhere and bring your answer. So I'm saying you can go and do this. Integral of sine x over cos x dx. Well, if your lecturer says you should solve it in your, in your answer sheet, there's no problem. But usually, this should be done at the worksheet section, at your rough section. Right? How do you solve this? You say let u be equal to the denominator there, cos x. Uh, what's the u dx? The u dx is equal to what there? Minus sine x. If I differentiate cos x, I will have minus sine x. These two swap. So you have du all over minus sine x is equal to what there? dx. Take this minus up here. You have that minus du over sine x is equal to what there? dx. Right? Take minus up here. Minus du over sine x equal to dx. Next up, substituting. You have integral of sine x all over u, that's cos x, 
dot what's the x minus the u over sine x see how this will cancel this we have one here uh, am i too fast all right this is equal to the integral of this is minus is it minus here minus one over u the u the minus goes outside the integral sign it becomes this that becomes what there minus lean u that's equal to minus lean what u cos x so, so from here if i integrate this one here as you've seen here you have minus lean cos x of course plus c so you have this Mm, okay. So we want to get this man, right? We said lean is equal to log to base e. So log to base e. That becomes log to base e of y. That's lean y. It's equal to, um, since I'm having positive negative uh, in mathematics, at this point, you know that we want to take what there? A positive term first before what there? A negative term with that concept positive first c minus lean cos x all right just swap them of course from here we we'll have that y is equal to from from the concept of indices and logarithm this one here will be equal to this raised to power this that's exponential raised to power c minus lean cos x uh hold on drop the okay i yeah, see but that's your answer basically that's how you solve this right that's your answer question please sorry what are you what because i have lean y as this and i want to get if i have lean y being equal to this and I want to get the value of y. What do I do? It's simple. Y will be equal to exponential this. That is the simple man explanation. And that's you having y equal to exponential this. But then I'm trying to show you why it's like this. And I'm still using that same concept of saying log 32 base 2 equal to 5. This thing here means 2 to power 5 equal to 32. So when you have lean y, lean y simply means log to base e. Log to base e of y. If I follow this procedure, it means that 32 here, that's y, is equal to the base, that's e, to power the answer, that's this. So you have this. All right? But you can say, if you have lean y equal to anything, y is equal to exponential this thing here. How? I'm trying to show you why it's so. That's it. Get more by joining our Differential Equations channel membership or visit www.joniemanual.com slash courses and get the Differential Equations Made Easy course. Both links in video description.